You're welcome. Welcome to um, Atsong Podcast. Today is April the 18th, 2024. The topic for this evening is simply uh, being. And um, we've talked about a lot of things before I started the recording. So what I want to talk about now is to introduce um, two ideas. One idea is that your your body actually have a logic. It has a, a logic of its own that is different from the, the minds, the conscious minds um, logic. So your body has a logic. It is beautiful um, ability, like really powerful, robust, and it has a well, logic in quotes logic of the body so the body has a wisdom that you know we don't know about and we don't always understand the the wisdom of the body the, but the body actually has the major job the major job is to keep you alive because as long as you're alive then um you can do something about it even if you injured yourself badly as long as you're alive then you can find your way to a doctor to you know, put you back together again. So that's the, the role of the body is to keep you alive. And if you, you know, just look at yourself physiologically, you notice that your head is um, being your, your brain part. Like all, all the, those internal organs is being protected by a skull. Okay. So you know that, you know, just because there is a, a big bone there that's protecting you. You know that that part of you, of your body, your physical body is important because physiologically it's already telling you that. Another thing is you um, you have a um, these collarbones or all these you know, um, bones that is protecting your heart. So you know that all the rib cage and all that protecting your heart kind of protecting your lungs too so you know that those those two things especially the heart those are important because physiologically the the brain and the heart those are tightly and very closely guarded with bones um whereas other part of your body is the flesh that that so you know that you know yes if you cut yourself in these flesh, it will you will um have pain, you will feel pain, and you will have other symptoms, but it's not going to kill you right away. But um, so that's why your body is the way it is. The wisdom of the body is to protect the brain and protect the heart, so that those two things, as long as those two are still functioning, the chances are you are going to be um able to live on. Um, until you find other ways of helping yourself to get back to being normal and complete. So that's the logic of the the body. And I already mentioned that you know when you get um, when you experience trauma, you get your body will have to you know detour meaning that there are lots of processes, lots of functions within your body, but because of the, the trauma or because of whatever circumstances, your body will um, dynamically detour, make, make um, a different process, it will pick a different way of trying to keep your brain and your heart alive, to keep you alive as well. So that's what your body does. However, when there are too many and too much um, detours of, you know, then your body will start to get confused. So about at around 25 to 30% of like being um, out of alignment with the normal functions, that's when the body starts to not be able to see the the right process that it should be taking in every second, every nanoseconds of your life. So that's when 
things will start to go wrong. That's when chronic illness will start to come in. So around 30% onwards. That's, that's what all those chronic illness may start to come in. So one way of um, assisting your body is to do something called master dyslex, dyslexic um, procedure. So oh, I just want to actually preface all of this as well. So all of this is something that I'm, you know, that's called MED, Master Energy Dynamics. So it is something that Richard Bartlett has um, been developing and pulling together for the last, I forgot, 40, 50 years. I, so it's it's been going for at least a, uh, several decades. So the premise is that you're not trying to heal the body, but you're trying to heal the body, meaning that you're not trying to do something to the body, but you're trying to assist the body because you recognize that the body has a wisdom that um, it's going to make the best choices when it can. So, um, so all of this MED is really about assisting the body to be able to see itself clearer. And the master dyslexic um, procedure is one of those simple, very elegant ways to start to make the waters, or I would say clear the screen so that your body can see itself more clearly. Sorry. Yes. Could you please spell that uh, this this uh, that word is dyslexic? Oh uh, yeah. How to so how to spell that? Master dyslexia. So D Y S D Y S. Okay, hang on. Let me uh, share screen and um. Let me share a screen. Okay, so this is, oh, you guys see it? Right. Yeah, thank okay, you. So, so this is the procedure. I'm just going to talk through it and then I'm going to um, kind of just do it. So, um, okay, so there's a few steps here that you can see and and you know I I can send you the slide this slide so you'll be able to so you don't really have to worry about trying to take notes okay. is first you um both at so k27 so let me actually get out of it k27 where is k27 so so it's right here you see these bones so collar bones so both sides, just underneath the this collarbone. So this is the bone here, and then it's right underneath there. So that's the location. So what you do is you, when you interact with the body, you are um, just sending a signal to your body that that's what you want to do. You want to do the this procedure, the dys master dyslexia. So what you do is, um, right. So this is right. For me, it's right. So right, left. So you're tapping on that area. And then left, right. And then both. So that is the first step of this. Right, left, left, right, and then both. So the the symbol of the gesture is that you're trying to connect the, the two sides of your body so the body can start to work together okay right left left right and then both so pressing the same spot yeah the k27 uh it's a meridian point ki kidney 27 point so it's right here and and it's on uh, both sides right and left okay. Okay, so you do that so then that's kind of the, the first step to you know, let your body know that you know you are trying to talk to it. And the next thing is you scan. So scan, what do you mean by scan? Is you actually, you are posing a question to your body. 
you scan. It's an energetic scan. So you so you do a scan. So you do a scan. The the language of the scan is just this. So you're making a kind of like a, a Y. So it's like a um a funnel. So you're scanning. So you're scanning how many um how many patterns patterns that needs to be cleared out in order for your body to become clearer okay so you count one two three four you count it could be 25 and maybe 50 you know or 100 doesn't matter so you just count you start counting so how do you feel what count what to count okay so i'm going to talk about the count so what are you counting the count is not actually um the count is actually something to keep your mind occupied. Okay? So you count. You do give your mind something to, to do, is to count. But what you're doing is you're actually focusing on the body. You're focusing on your body. And at some point of your count, you will start to um, slow down. But you will feel that, you know, the body would tell you, okay, this is good enough. I got the patterns. So you have, it's a communication with your body. Doesn't matter whether it's 25 patterns, whereas as it's actually 30, it does not matter. You're just giving your mind something to do so that your mind is out of the way and what you're focusing on is actually communicating with the body. So that's what the count is. Understand that? So it doesn't ma yes. matter. So you're counting, you're counting. But when you, uh, you scan each organ separately? No. No. You're just counting. Mm. So these, these are global patterns for all, your whole body. So it's not separate organs. You count. You just, so how many patterns? You just count until you feel that uh, your body is slowing down until cannot count anymore or your body does not want to play and engage anymore that means the body is you know this is good enough so it's the body's um communication with you okay we're good you don't have to count anymore so so you may have count up to let's say 27 let's say then what you do is you tap it in when you tap something in to you know the first half of your 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 head, you're actually you know just acknowledge, acknowledging the number is twenty seven pattern, but does it matter whether it's twenty seven or twenty eight? It doesn't matter. Your body knows that it's a communication, so twenty seven, it's great. And then you run the eye patterns. Okay, so the four eye patterns is you start from the, the right, this is my right hand, this is my right hand upper corner. So you start from there, have your eyes over there, looking at the, the right upper corner. And when I start to look up there, you will feel a rush of energy because it's you're starting the eye pattern. You feel a rush, rush of energy. At some point, you will feel uh, it's like a relaxation. You feel that relaxation. That means, okay, we're good. You can move. You can go to the next position. Okay? So the next position is from the right upper corner, go to the right lower corner. And you're still looking for, the, you're also looking for that is when you get there, there's kind of a, um, a bit of tension the first time you land to a new position. And you're just looking for, you know, loosening of that sensation. And then you know that, oh, okay, loosening now. 
So you go to the next one, which is the left upper corner. For me, this is the left upper corner. So I we'll look up there. And I would feel, you know, a lot of energy coming in at first. And then after a while, you feel a settling down and then a relaxing. Then you know it's it. Okay, now I can go to the next eye position, which is the left lower hand corner. Okay, so that's that's the left one. Same thing, you're looking for a relaxation, a release of tension. Then you know that, okay, yeah, now I can move. The last position is going back to the first position. So you're doing a diagonal. Okay, so four eye positions. And then after the four eye positions, what you do is you tap, you double tap. Double tap. The first tap is at the back of your head. Um, so you all know that, you know, there is a kind of a dip in the middle of your, your skull where all the, the, the bones of your head comes together. So behind that, that's the back of your head. So first tap is the back and then you tap to the front. So that is a double tap. It is a language that tells your body that, okay, now go and run and reset all these 27 or whatever the number of patterns that you have come up with. And then you just keep quiet, pay attention to what's happening in your body. And then you wait for like at first you may feel, you know, your body needs to spin a little and do something crazy or not. It will, you will feel that, you know, something is moving around. And then at some point your body will stabilize. And when it's stabilized, then you're done. Okay. So that is, and then you notice. Because usually just by doing that, your body, or at least um, your mind would become clearer, more um, aware. So that is the master dyslexia procedure. Can I do this procedure like with everything new what I wanna do like in my life? And I think it's gonna be like, uh, you know, not comfortable for my body. Can I talk to my body this way and you know, see the patterns why my body may be against of it. You and... can, absolutely. It, um, it can only do good. That's my suggestion is that it can only do good. Because I will what, try. What, it's interesting. What this does is it actually... Um, it clears the screen for you, for your body, so that your body, it's it's like, you know, all of a sudden, and a window is open and all the smoke is gone, and your body can see itself better. So that's so what this does. Sorry, um, can you say that again? I just say it sounds good. I and I uh, tapped. I feel a little bit something. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So it's very simple. Okay. So um, any? Can Can you describe um if 
how do you check in with your body? Is this something you can do when you're trying to check in with your body? Um, <clears throat> okay. So what this does is, Check in with the body. Okay, so so check in with your body is actually just to you know let go of thinking and just you know put your focus on yourself on the body. That's that's checking in with the body. It's not asking questions from the body or, or that's comes later. I would actually start with just, you know, check in with your body first. Okay. Cause that would give you, cause usually, you know, there's so many things on our mind so check in with your body first so you can just let go of whatever it is that you that's you know your mind has been thinking or the, or or just disrupt all of those um internal dialogue so just you know check in with the body this you know hello body and the body um like just let your body be able to just come back in your focus. Okay. Okay. And then once you feel that, you know, usually when you just focus on your body, what I feel anyways is the body is more solid. Mm. That's that's how I experience it. You may have, you know, something different. So, um, so just notice when you just... Check in with your body. You just don't think for maybe thirty seconds. You know, it doesn't have to be long. Just thirty seconds would do it. Just stop thinking for thirty seconds. Go back to your body, and just you know, get a a baseline. Okay, this is how my body feels now. Okay. Once you've done that, then you can start to ask questions. Okay. And then ask one question, and then you go back to just checking in with your body to see how your body is handling the question. Mm -hmm. What kind of question? That's why you have pain somewhere or okay. It depends. You may just want to see how are you doing body? Good, bad? Or you can or you can ask like when you usually when you just sit back and notice the body, your body would tell you what needs your attention. Cause that part of your body will start to Kind of, you know, catch right. your attention. Mm Other questions? How, how often would you do this procedure? Not the checking, the uh, dyslexia. The master Mas dyslexia? Yeah. Um, when you have stress or what? I would say. Uh, um, 
when you feel a little overwhelmed, I would say. Like when you feel a little overwhelmed, and like, okay, what what next? Then it would be like a good idea to do that. Um so so this is to clear the smoke for you, for your body, so your body can work and function better. So how often do you want to have that for your body? <laughs> you can do it every day because this is this is something that will can only help your body. So it's not like, okay, you can only do it once a week. No, it's um, the more you do it, the the easier or clearer your body would become. Now, is this going to heal anything? It might, but most likely you would need a little bit more. So this is just before you even begin anything else. It's just allow your body to see itself, feel it more clearly. So that's maybe, what maybe we can start. Maybe we can do this before meditation, like a quiet. How's that? Do this first, then do meditation. Um, um, as you know, I can't tell you. So, I'm I'm telling you what this is good for. Uh -huh. So it's up to you. You how you want to do it or not so that is how do you do that <laughs> um usually if i feel that you know i'm going to have some time to you know work on my body then i would do this okay just to sure yeah sure. so this is kind of the first thing i would do for the, for the body before i do anything else Ideally, I should be doing it at least once a day or once every other day. But I mean, you know, just um, work on my body. However, I haven't been doing that. So it's something that I would want to get more in um, to assist my body to make better choices. Okay, so any other questions? Okay, good. You said that you assist your body to make better choices. I told that in this procedure, we make agreement with the body to accept our choice. <laughs> 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 no. us to obey us not us obey the body <laughs> okay you're hearing what you want to hear <laughs> like what we want to hear that's what I am afraid of <laughs> what we want to hear not the real thing here from body I don't know Is it, um, I don't know, is it mental or re we really hear the right thing from body? Oh. Um, I, it, like when you, your body talks to you, but not necessarily in so many words. So when you pay attention, when you just drop into the body, so it's not a, you're not hearing a voice, mm -hmm. but you are, you like when you, when you really focus on, you know, um, hearing from the body, 
hearing is in quotation. You actually, it's a communication and the body communicates with you through your consciousness. <clears throat> so you may feel, um, sometimes what I would feel is actually when the body wants to get my attention, the part of the body that needs my attention, I would feel a very subtle pulse. It's like, okay, somebody trying to tap on that part of the body to get your attention or to get my attention. So I, I would feel something like that. Or so I may do, feel... Is it the, about health or what? What is it about? That part need to be healed or? It needs to be looked at. So what I would do when I do something like that, I may want to um, kind of just put my attention on, you know, that part of the body that, that needs my attention and then see what else comes up. So your body is talking to you talking in quotation so it's communicating with you i guess it's a better word than talking it's communicating with you so then when it says something to you you have a response so when it's trying to get my attention on something and i actually put my attention there then so that's my response mm -hmm. then the body will understand oh okay she is actually you know getting uh, having this conversation with me so then it will show the next step so um and if it does not show the next step so the next step could be okay so the first place let's say is um my thyroid mm -hmm. for example and then when i place my attention there the next thing may show up could be my heart So then what the body is trying to convey to me is you want to look at the thyroid in relationship to your heart, how you, those two organs function. So then what I may want to do is, okay, so then follow the, 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 that conversation is go into the heart and see if, you know, another organ show up, maybe maybe stomach show up, show up is the next one, then you go to the stomach. And then after stomach, it's like, okay, nothing else show up. Then you may want to ask question, is it um, questions like, okay, so how many patterns, let's say, because you know, these organs relate with, with each other the thyroid, the heart, and the stomach relate with each other. There are energy patterns that's involved with them. And then you kind of do the scan, how many patterns? And you count how many patterns. And once you count it, let's say 50 or 54, then you just you know run the eye patterns and you tap backwards and forwards and allow your body to um, you know shift those patterns. So I'm just wondering how you feel like I feel when organ needs some support or healing only when when it hurts how, how do you feel what needs uh what uh, organ need attention uh during the meditation or when you scan or how you feel your organs so, so far, the way your body communicates with you in a way that can get your attention is pain. Yes. So, my suggestion is don't wait until it gets to the pain part. Is to, um, you know, just um, take some time for yourself to just be with the body. Just tune into the body. Yeah. 
And when you just stop thinking and you just tune into the body, but very important, don't think. Because when you think, you're not connecting with the wisdom of the body. You're connecting with what you think you know. And I know <laughs> it's not easy to not think. So it's a practice. So um, best to practice just not thinking and then don't try to do anything with the body, but you know, practice not thinking. A few minutes or maybe even just one minute at a time. Practice not thinking and just noticing. So it's um, it's a superpower to not think. When you don't think, you actually get all the information that you need or you want to know coming to you. It is because we think so much with so many, so many things that's trying to get our attention that we don't receive those information. Actually, there is so much information that's available to us, but we, you know, we may not even get 1% of those information because we think constantly. So when you don't think, you just sit with the body. You would notice things. And it's because when, when you think your mind is busy, you're not in your consciousness. But when you don't think, your consciousness starts to come up. Consciousness meaning the, the wisdom part of you, the um, all of those other support that you have. It will start to come up. Give that a try. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Vinia. I love it. It's... Uh... It's so interesting. Yep. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay. So I actually want to just do this again, <clears throat> just to show you the. So I'm going to send you all of you this um, slide. So. You can do this again on your own. And um, once you've done this once, then then it's actually you would be able to get a better feel of this. So, you know, right, left, left, right, and then both. So this is the tapping at the K27. That, that which is right underneath the, the the collarbone in your body, okay? And then you scan for the patterns, how many patterns, and you tap in the number of patterns and don't get, you know, don't, don't, don't get hung up on the number. The number, the counting is just to get your conscious mind and your, your thinking mind out of the way, okay? And then run the four eye positions so underneath that is the four eye position. So you're starting at the upper right, then you go down on the right and up to the left and then down on the left. And then you go back up to the right, which is the starting position. And each time you wait for a change in the muscle tone before you go to the next eye position. And then you do the double tap and then you wait and let your body figure out what needs to be changed. And when you feel your body stabilizing again, then you're done. Okay, so that's the whole procedure. Sorry, I must have missed something. Scan, scan the body. Scan how... how... Oh, uh, the whole body, you have to scan. The, um, the second one. 
So, so scan the body. So scan yeah. for the number of patterns. So you just ask the question, how many patterns? Okay, so you oh. ask the body the question. Uh -huh. And then uh -huh. you start counting. And then you oh. notice what's happening in the body. You notice what's happening in the body. And then some point, you, you will start to slow down the counting because your body will know when it okay. is time to stop it will give okay. you that so okay. then it could be you know could be 50 could be 100 could be way less could be way more it doesn't matter okay, okay? Mm -hmm. so you, you ask the question and you just notice okay you do we have notice to calm what's here? happening in your body calm good yeah well Okay. Keep your mind occupied. That's the purpose. Yep. Counting okay. is to keep okay. your mind occupied. Okay. While you're counting, you're noticing what's happening in your body. And you have mm -hmm. you're noticing when your body is starting to slow down. Okay. When it starts to settle down and you and there is a, a feeling that okay, time to stop. You know, that feeling. Mm -hmm. Then, mm -hmm. you know, whatever number count you're up to, then that's the count. Okay. Okay? Sure. Yeah. Is, is that the pattern? You don't need to know how many patterns. The It's an energy pattern, and your body knows. You don't need to know. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because your body <laughs> has wisdom. It knows what it is so you just just the, this counting is just you are just um connecting with those patterns and that's what's really happening gosh do we yeah. touch the head only once uh, double like that or i thought you said um, we touch the head uh, when you at the beginning when you find out uh -huh. how many patterns you, yeah. you touch in the, in the middle and then at the end when you finish this you do too do the student <laughs> yeah. As she said, yeah. when, when uh -huh. you are so when you find the number you tap it in uh -huh. once Thank and you. when after you've done the um I, the I, I patterns you. Then you double tap. This That's kind of the last step you do. And then after you double tap, you just wait for the body to finish shifting the patterns. So and, and it comes back to being stabilized. Mm -hmm. Then you're done. Thank okay. you. So double tap is the last thing you do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vinny. Okay, you're welcome. So play with that and let me know next week. So so that we can uh yeah, notes it didn't say about uh, tapping first on the forehead for the eye pattern. Um sorry, can you say that again? Can you no. say louder? In the notes, you did not uh, mention when to tap. After the neck tap, the the Kidney is 27. Then you do the tap on top of the head. Okay. Scan how many patterns. Tap in number of patterns. So tap this in number of patterns. So you do the, the, the right, left, left, right, both at the collarbones. Yeah. Then you scan. And then after you know how many, uh, the number of patterns, then you tap. Then you tap what? You tap top of your head. Just once. Okay. So let's tap in number of patterns. You, if you count your uh, patterns, uh, 20, you tap 20 times. Yeah. Oh no, 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 you don't tap one, one. times. No. One, you, yeah. you just tap once. 
Oh, <laughs> you're just acknowledging. <laughs> you get so. <laughs> <laughs> What if you have 200? If, if it's 100, you're going to tap yourself <laughs> until you, you hurt yourself. You know, just, just once. Just okay. to put the information in. And you tap okay. the top, like, just the front. Oh. Okay. Oh, tapping the information. That's why you say number of patterns. Yeah. Okay. And then when you do the eye pattern, you tap back first and then the top. Yes. And then just no. Right. First, you tap in the middle, right? And no, and at the end, after and the, at the end, you tap at the back and in front. Yeah. Not front. It's the top of the head, right? But in front. Double. Back okay. and front. Okay, hang on, hang on. Your head. I rem yeah. remember I mentioned there is um the top of your head there is a a, a dip there that's where yeah. the all the bone the 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 head bones comes together in the middle mm -hmm. so that is the defining line between back and front anything mm -hmm. to the front of that is front anything to oh, the back of that is back I see okay, okay. so that's anywhere as long as it's not mm -hmm. past that dip in your skull is front. So you do the front first and then the back, correct? No, back first and then front. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Maybe you should add that in the notes before you send it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I should do that. Yeah, thank you. Back and front. Below yes. the central line. Uh, any it. other comments? Oh, I don't think next two weeks I'll be able to come for the Thursday. Okay. No, Saturday, oh, you can Saturday. you can email me and let me know yeah, how you're one, doing with it, or if you have any questions about it, email me. Let me know. Sure. This was super interesting, super interesting. So I agree. Thank you, big time. Yeah, thank you, Vinny. It's really interesting.